Hi, I'm John Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series we're taking a look at GPS. This episode specifically, we're going to talk about geocaching, location-based services, and other things that make use of your GPS. Now, while navigation is the number one thing that people think of when they think about the GPS, it's actually invaded our lives in other ways as well. So if you use Facebook Places, for example, you've used GPS. If you've used something like Foursquare, you've used GPS. There's other applications you can use, and one of them which is a game, which we'll talk about right now, called geocaching. Now, geocaching is an activity that's been steadily growing in popularity, and it involves somebody hiding a thing called a cache in a particular location, giving coordinates for it, and having people go to find it using their GPS devices. Typically, at the other end, you'll see a little booklet that you can sign your name in to say you found the cache, or maybe there's a little prize inside. Now, many of these caches are located well off the beaten track, so while you can get most of the way there using your turn-by-turn -turn navigation on your GPS device, often in case you have to head off into a field or underneath a bridge to find the cache itself. Now, your GPS device should be able to show you the exact longitude and latitude of where you are, so you may have to turn the coordinates on inside the settings. This will help you navigate to the spot that you want to go. Now, you can Google geocaching to find out more information on this subject and to get started on your very first geocaching expedition. Another one of the things that GPS is good for these days is location-based services. Now, when you have a cell phone with you and a GPS built right into it, it can help locate you and set you up with deals. For example, you have a coupon that is at a local restaurant that you can use, or you can set it up to search for your various friends. One of the main things that people are doing with these days is checking in using services like Gowalla, Foursquare, or Facebook Places. Now, one of the reasons you may want to check into a location using something like Foursquare is if you check in enough times, you'll become the mayor of that location. Now, that comes with, of course, bragging rights. I'm the mayor of the Butterscotch Studio. But for a business that actually uses Foursquare as well, you may get an extra bonus, part of a loyalty program. So if you become the mayor of, say, the Starbucks down the street, they may give you a discount on your drink. Now, for more information on location-based services, you can check out more tutorials on things like Foursquare and Facebook Places on Butterscotch.com. You can also go there to get the show notes for this and the other parts in the series, and of course, the other parts in this series on GPS.